The following is a production of New Mexico State University. Dad, how long do we have to wait here? No sé, hijo, qué tanto tenemos que esperarnos, porque tengo que hablar con la Dean. Voy a presentar este papel en la conferencia el fin del mes. A ver qué dice la secretaria. She probably knows how long we have to wait. Excuse me, um, when can my dad see the Dean? In about 15 minutes. She just had to review some reports with one of the advisors. Thank you. Dijo que tenemos que esperarnos como 15 minutos. Pero 15 minutos para ustedes es como una media hora. Tengo hambre. Can I go get a candy or soda from the snack machines? Excuse me, Mr. Sierra. Do you mind if I practice my Spanish with you? I have a class tonight. And I overheard you speaking with your son. Sure, go ahead. Gusta una taza de café? Uh, sí, por favor. And if your son wants a snack, Mary in the next office is selling some candy for her daughter's school. Van a Chihuahua a presentar un concierto en la universidad. ¿Puedo ir a comprar un dulce, papá? Sí, cómo no, hijo. Las podemos ayudar con su fundraiser, especialmente porque tu mamá fue a esa escuela en Chihuahua. ¿Tienes dinero? Sí, papá. Uh, where do I get the candy? Allá. En ese cuarto tiene los dulces. Thanks. Qué buen hijo tiene usted. Gracias. You and your wife should be very proud of him. Well, my wife died three years ago, pero mi familia me ayuda con él. We're a very close family. <sighs> Qué lástima que se murió. You know, your paper for the conference was very interesting. The dean was very impressed with it. Azúcar or crema? Uh, black. I can help myself. <laughs> I've become more of a coffee drinker now that I've been writing my dissertation. Yes, so pasa con los grad students. I just bought some decaf. Hopefully, that's a little bit healthier. You know, su hijo habla español muy bien. Gracias. It was his first language since my wife was Mexican. It's important that he knows his heritage. Ah, ¿cómo está su café? It's muy sabroso. I bought something for all of us. Un dulce para ti, cookies para usted, un dulce para mí, and also a soda for me. Perfecto. It's my snack time. Gracias. Qué nice of you to think of me. Pero yo traigo mi snack de la casa como comida nutritiva porque no quiero ganar peso. Déjame ver qué dice la etiqueta. You actually read those labels? Todo el tiempo. I learned about them at school, but I didn't think anybody really paid attention to them. I never read the labels. What good do they do anyway? Oh, las etiquetas tienen mucho información. But I just usually look at the fat content. You're not fat. Gracias. No estoy gorda porque busco en la etiqueta las gramas de grasa. Fat grams? That's on there? Let me see. I never look at these labels. Hmm, nutrition facts. There's a lot of information here. Serving size, vitamin C, calcium, percentage DV. Who needs to know all this stuff anyway? ¿Cómo tiene información? Te apuesto que la mayoría del público no las lee.
y tenemos tiempo de cocinar, ¿cómo puedo leer todas las etiquetas? If we started reading all the labels, we'd never get anything ready for dinner. Do you cook? Oh, yes. I try to eat pretty healthy things. I bring different snacks for my break time or if I have to work late. Let me show you. Today I brought some yogurt and some carrots. Híjole, ¿cómo tienes snacks aquí? Jugo, diet soda, muffins, cookies, popcorn, fruta. Do you pack a lunch for your kids? No, no tengo hijos. Me and my dad take turns making our lunches. We buy those packaged meals a lot. Más fácil. But we always try to make something for dinner. Or we go to eat at my sister's house with mis padres. Sounds like you have a close family. Sí, somos una familia unida. We're going to a family reunion next month. Oh, una fiesta de familia. You know, you really should try making your own lunches. Well, esa comida que ya viene preparada tiene mucha grasa y cuesta mucho. Yes, but the packaged food saves time. A veces no tenemos tiempo en la mañana a hacer los lunches. Uh, what is your name? You help me out all the time. You know, set the nombre. Margaret. Margaret. That's nice. Uh, I'm Santiago, and this is my son, Fidel. Oh. Let me get that phone. Soda and candy. When you mix those two things, that's like drinking seltzer water with your food. It's no worse than chips and salsa and all the tons of coffee you drink every night. She's really nice to me when I come to see the dean. Le mi papel y le gustó. Did you notice she didn't have a wedding ring? Ay, hijo, ¿qué me estás buscando una novia? No, papá, pero todo el tiempo estás conmigo o con grandma y grandpa o tía Lisa. Tienes que... get a life. Eat your candy. Deja ver los dos labels. Protein. Well, that's good for you. Uh, protein and candy? El mío tiene... Tres gramos de proteína. Mine has five grams of protein. Fidel, try some yogurt. Thank you. You know, I just compared my low-fat cookies with the ones you bought me. Estos low-fat cookies tienen zero grams of fat. These have 4.5 grams of fat. Hi, 4.5 gramos de grasa. Can I see those labels? Sure. Look. The serving sizes are different. Mira, los low-fat cookies tienen casi el mismo número de calorías que los regular cookies. What? I never noticed that. Déjame ver. How complicated. Es más fácil comer fruta o verdura. Yeah, la manzana no necesita un label. That's true. Fruits and vegetables don't need labels. I can't compare a cookie to an apple. But I think I'd rather have these regular tasting cookies than these cardboard tasting ones. Margaret, that's cool that you read the labels and bring all that healthy stuff to work. You should listen to your own advice, Fidel. Hi, Papa. Tú también tienes que comer más healthier. Can I see your candy bar? Sure. Candy bar yogurt. This stuff isn't too bad. I suppose one candy bar de vez en cuando doesn't hurt. Pero kids at school comen dulces para lonche cada día. They spend two or three dollars a day on junk food. Tres dólares en dulces cada día? Tendrán mucho dinero esos estudiantes que compran dulces cada día. Yo no puedo hacer eso. Uh, all this talk about food reminds me of how hungry I am. Let's go eat at El Gordo's Cafe for dinner, and we can relax. I don't have any homework. Uh, ¿Quieres ir a comer con nosotros, Margaret? Yeah, nice of you to include me. But can I take a rain check? Tengo mi clase de español esta noche. Oh, the dean is ready to see you now. We've hardly had enough time for you to eat your snack. ¿Qué le hace? La visita era más importante que comer. Come on, son. Let's see if you learn anything about international business. Papá, invitar a la Margaret que venga a comer con nosotros el sábado. Matchmaker.
gracias por la lección y nutrición. No, no, thank you. You taught me something new. Ahora voy a leer las etiquetas todo el tiempo. Tal vez podemos ir a comer juntos. We'll bring the dessert. Low fat empanadas. <laughs> <laughs> The preceding was a production of New Mexico State University. The views and opinions in this program are those of the author and do not necessarily represent the views and opinions of the NMSU Board of Regents.